We have learned more about the shooting on the Thanksgiving Day at a Meyer gas station. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Brett Thomas. 25-year-old Jacob Walerko died from a gunshot wound to the head. That's according to the Allen County Coroner. Within 24 hours, police arrested a suspect. They say that Victor Rivera is the man who pulled the trigger. News Channel 15 Sarah Schaefer has been digging through the police reports all day long and joins us now live in the newsroom with what she's learned. Sarah. Well, Brett and Heather, the probable cause showed that 10 people recognized Rivera after the shooting, and that's largely in part what helped police lead to an arrest so quickly. Well, I want to recap what some of the report says. According to that report, while an officer was on the way to the scene, he was told that the clerk, Jacob Walerko, had been shot in the head and was dead. He requested officers try to get surveillance video. On the video, he watched a man pull out what appeared to be a sawed-off shotgun and shoot Walerko. He then jumped over the counter and stole a carton of cigarettes and ran off across the parking lot. After interviews on scene and watching that video, police released the images to the public, and that's when countless tips continued to pour in. Some led police to Rivera's Facebook page, which showed him wearing the same clothing as the suspect in the surveillance images. One tip stated Rivera, quote, only has two sets of clothes, and those are his clothes. According to their report, Rivera's mother also identified him. Multiple tips reported Rivera tried to work at the gas station and a customer was documented saying that they saw him making threats to the gas station workers about, quote, coming back and getting even because he did not get a job. Finally, one tip stated Rivera was very interested in watching the news about the shooting and another said that he did and afterwards he said, quote, oh man, I am in trouble. Now, I talked to a lot of friends and some family of Jacob Walerko, and they couldn't go on camera today or just weren't ready to, but all of them said that they were heartbroken and they can't believe that this has happened. They described him as a kind, loving person who loved animals. You can view the full document right now on Wayne.com, and then coming up at 6, I have more um, on Meyer's response to all of this. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.